In today's video, I'm going to share with you how Spam and Buttons runs the best trips tight end offense that I personally have ever seen in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to check out the Patreon. That's, uh, I'm going to put a link to that in the description, but I have a bunch of ebooks over there. I got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks. The trips tight end just happens to be one of them. I run a lot of the similar concepts of spam, and I got a couple of unique things over there as well in that ebook. So, if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description below uh, to the Patreon. You could sign up for just $10. For just $10 a month, you literally will get access to absolutely everything that we have to share with you from the trips tied in or from pretty much any of the formations in the game that we've broken down. Now, Spam and Button's favorite play in trips is PA counter go. And it's really for two reasons. The first reason is because of the blocking that you're going to get out of PA counter go. The running back is going to mess up a lot of the blitzes. It's going to allow you to pick up a lot of pressure. We're going to show you how to do that in this video. Uh, but this is also going to allow you to be able to use a four uh, person route concept that will force your defense to have to adjust to it and we're going to show you the route combination in this video now like i said i'm a huge fan of spam and buttons i don't watch a lot i mean i watch a lot of madden but i don't study players but i study spam and i think he's one of the better players in this game and uh, i think there's a reason i and i think you're going to see that his trip side and offense is very unique very different he's actually set the meta a lot this year with his trips and um, he started running this last year, or at least that's as far as I know. He may have been running it before that, but I kind of saw him play a lot last year and kind of really enjoyed watching his uh, his tape. So, anyways, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna first show you the blocking. So this is a this is the route combo. We're gonna flat the outside slot. We're gonna in route the outside receiver. Uh, you can smart route that, or you can actually leave that uh, at five yards. It's up to you. I actually like to leave it at five yards as of late. But if they're running a lot of QB spies or something, then put it a smart route. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, streak our tight end. Now, as far as blitz pick up, what you're going to do is you're going to snap the ball. And as soon as that running back kind of like the mesh happens with the quarterback, like he's in that animation, then you're going to hit right trigger and he's going to pick up the pressure. So right there, just see how I click the right trigger. He picks up the pressure. And now I can deliver the ball and be able to continue to move the ball down the field. Now this is a really, really good concept for a lot of different reasons, but it's gonna force your opponent to have to have their zone drops on. And when they have to have their zone drops on, you're gonna notice uh, something in just a second, but the, the number one route on this is 100% the crosser, but your first read is really gonna be your, your tight end. And the reason your tight end is your first read is because what's gonna happen is if you're playing somebody that wants to kind of slow down this offense, they're going to kind of sit over here with their user and try to take away that number three receiver, kind of work to kind of shut him down because he's the number one player in this offense. So then with that, you could just pass lead this to the right. If you have a gunslinger or a pass lead lead or set feet lead, you're going to be able to fit that in that window. So it's a real good way to force them now to have to go to some type um, of cover two on this back side. So now you see we've got a little bit of a cover two cloud cover three cloud type of shell. And when you, that happens, that's when you're gonna wanna hit this crosser. You're just gonna pass lead this directly straight up. And as you can see, it's gonna go over about 10 yards over the 30 yard clouds and very, very good route in my opinion. Now, the next thing, so then what they're gonna have to do off of this is they're gonna have to play kind of Mabel concept, right? With the Mabel concept, what we're going to see with this is this flat route. So when they run a Mabel coverage, a cloud flat is going to be the top of their zone. It has to be because it's the only zone that can stop that cross or even have a shot at stopping them. So the purple zone by nature becomes their underneath defender. And if they're running a Mabel where they're running a flat and a purple on the sideline out of Mike Blitz 3, for example, what you're going to notice here is the purple will get sucked in by the dig, and then you can hit this in route. What I like to do with the in route, um, what I like to do with the in route is I like to go ahead and just simply pass lead it straight up. I find that that gives you a decent rack animation, and I'll show that real quick here. So here, then he's gonna curl up, pass lead up. You see how it gets him a couple extra yards. And you're gonna run for about you know seven. Typically, if they're running a purple, you're gonna run for seven to uh, ten yards. And I'll show you this out of cover three as well. 
So if it's cover three, and if let's say, for example, you don't smart route this route, he'll still suck him in pretty good. Pass lead that up. And as you can see, you're going to get seven to ten. You're going to have to make them respect that route. So then what you're going to get um, is you're going to get something that looks kind of like this. What they'll start doing is they'll start saying, well, you know, we kind of know that you want to do that. So here's how we're going to defend it. We're going to have our, our clouds, and then on this side, we're just going to man him up onto the triangle receiver, which is a very, very bad, uh, I mean, it's a decent solution, but it's definitely not going to stop us, right? So what we're going to do uh, whenever we start experiencing stuff like that, it's where I like to go with a, um, a curl to Cobb, a zig to the square receiver, and a streak to the tight end. So they still have to worry about the crosser, but now you can lowball this curl against man, and you can also hit that. You know, again, you have to imagine a little bit here with me that these zones are going to drop back significantly. Okay, so they're not. It's kind of hard to explain it without having the ability to have zone drops. But this guy is going to be deep down the field. Okay, he's he's not going to be like in this video where he's he's up on on the screen there. So. You know, you're going to get something like a little smoke screen. See how that kind of, now you got windows to be able to hit that curl and that and that smoke concept on the back side of this. Another thing that you could do, um, and even if they do that with a, with a man up, let me show you something real quick. So let's say that they do that where they man up the, the slot. And what you're going to notice here, again, this is how you kind of build a, a concept. But now you're going to see this in route is going to come wide open, and we can hit that on the cut. So my typical progression with this concept is I, I will read the streak, and then immediately I'm turning my eyes to the flat and the dig. And if I can hit one of those two, I'm going to hit one of those two, and then I'll come back to the crosser. Now the crosser, especially if they're in some type of cover three, you have a couple windows at which you can hit it. You can hit it there. You can also hit it on the sideline, as we already showed that. But you can also hit this in the middle of the field. So let's say, for example, that they're doing you know, some type of cover two where, I mean, they're way out of the middle of the field. This guy's way backed off. Something like this, right? Just a, you know, kind of a cover two, Tampa two style coverage. Well, what you could do is once he gets underneath, it's so like right in here, you could throw that. And let's say, for example, they have 30-yard cloud flats. Well... Because again, remember, they have to run a cloud kind of, kind of concept. So you're going to get something that looks like this. And then you're going to have this. Well, if this guy moves out of the way, let's say he goes to guard the in route. Okay. Well, now what you've got from an offensive perspective is this you can hit this before it hits the cloud right in there. And as you can see, it's going to help you kind of defeat the zone drops. So that's how I beat zone drops. How do you beat. Uh, man coverage will show you some man pressure so again you're going to be able to pick up every blitz in the game like that and then you see here your crosser is going to be wide open against man if you're really getting a lot of man like let's say you're getting a lot of this cover zero kind of man coverage which what i would do is go ahead and use that smart routed in route uh, it just beats man a little better there i got crazy lurked by that spy let me show you that one more time so again, this is just gonna, it's just gonna beat man better if he's on a slant or a, no, you could also slant him if you want to, but if he's on a smart route in, I think it beats man a little better. I'm getting screamed at. I don't know why. I think good old practice mode is kind of messing me up a little bit here. So we'll go back with kind of a traditional, you know, cover one robber style coverage. But anyway, you'll see pass like that. Yeah. You're getting swatted and all this stuff, but I mean, you see the idea. It's wide open, like the the in route. I'm just saying, if they let's say they go to the they go guard the crosser, which is very likely, your in route should be wide open. So you're just gonna pass lead that up, and as you can see, inside and up it works like a charm. So, anyways, that's how Spamman runs this play. It's one of the best. It's probably his number number one most favorite play. And uh, again, I love studying his game tape. So uh, th this is just the beginning of it. But, uh, yeah, Spam Button's best trip sign in player in the world by far. So be sure to check him out on Twitch, on the Madden Comp channel. If you guys want to learn some of my stuff, 
uh, head over to the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description below where you can get the Patreon for just 10 bucks. 10 bucks unlocks everything. We're actually doing, uh, coming around the corner, some massive, massive in-depth film studies on some of the pro players. I'm a little under the weather last couple days here, so just give me some time and some patience. I appreciate that. But uh, anyways, if you want to get better at the game, head over to the Patreon and join it. We've already got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks in there, including the trips tied in. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. If you're still watching, you want to go ahead and grab that Patreon, head on down to the description, and click the link.